Hello friends, Satyendra here and in today's video, we are talking about the display of tree filters in Kiro Parametric. So the problem is, whenever we open assembly or a sub-assembly and we try to edit any part, first we need to go to the setting, tree filters and we need to activate some of the options here, like features and if you are trying to highlight any suppress object, then you need to select suppress object. So the same thing we need to do again and again whenever we open assembly or sub-assembly which is quite irritating. So is there any way to save these settings permanently so that whenever I open assembly it will get activated automatically. So yes there is a way to do this and this video will tell you about all these settings. So let's get started. And to do this first you go to settings, tree filters and select whichever option you want to activate automatically. Next thing is go to settings, save setting file. Now save this file to the location where you have saved your config file. So I'll go to C drive, program files, PTC, Creo 5, common files, text and here I'll save it. Once your file is saved, the last setting is go to file, options, configuration editor and here you search for tree. Find now and you get an option called model tree config file. Browse it. Go to same location and look for the tree config. Say open, add changes close and ok. Save this to your config file. Now again you go to the same location, C drive, program files, PTC, Creo 5, common file, text and here you have config file. Say ok. That's it. Now you close this file, erase it and try to open once again. Now you can see that your options are getting highlighted automatically. Close it, try to open some other assembly. I'll open this one. Here also, I'm getting all these options highlighted automatically. If you go to setting, tree filters, then you will see that this is selected by default, this is selected by default. So this was the whole idea about the display of tree filters and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can write your comments in comment section below and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates.